Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to come on quick and show you all the different things you can do in the deluxe cooking blender. So because it's a cooking blender, it does get hot. So when you think blender, you think smoothie, which I do use it every day for my smoothie. And it has actually um, an adaptable piece right here that you could just put the smoothie cup in. So I use that quite often. Um, you can make soups in here, heated puree, jam, sauce. I've made applesauce in mine. Um, I've done butternut squash soup. Today I'm gonna do um, broccoli cheddar soup. And there's a bunch of great recipes right in the cooking book that it comes with, cooking guide. So I'll just flip through it quick so they give you a strawberry banana recipe for a smoothie, sweet potato soup. I've never made that. A couple of different options for smoothies. Tropical mango, blueberry, peach, super green, and cucumber melon. And then they show you some smoothie bowls that you can do. If you like acai, acai bowls, that would be similar. Um, you can make different milks. I actually have made, uh, I didn't make almond milk, I made almond butter um, in there and it came out very good. It was so fresh tasting. Um, another recipe, there's a grind setting. That's what, you use. That's what I use for the almond butter. Um, I ran out and I had a lot of almonds, so I made my own almond butter. I haven't tried this, but I would like to try to make some of my own whole wheat pancakes. Then you can also do hummus. I've never made hummus, but that would be something I would like. And then here's the soups. There's a beef soup, a beet soup, cauliflower soup, mushroom, bisque soup, cheesy potato soup, sweet potato soup, and tomato basil soup. So basically any vegetable soup you can make in here. Um, I have made this one, butternut squash soup with pumpkin um, seeds. This is the one I'm gonna do today, broccoli cheddar soup. I'm gonna skip the biscuits probably, um, but we'll see how I'm feeling. And then the puree setting, I have not used, but it would be good if you have an infant and you wanna make your own food. You could do broccoli puree, carrot puree, cauliflower, parsnip, and sweet potato. And then here is a hidden veggie marinara pasta recipe. So that you make the sauce. I don't believe you would put the pasta in, but let's see. No, you cook the pasta in a, in a pot and then you make everything else in the blender and just put it right on top. And then sauce setting. Um, you can do a chicken or beef gravy, sausage gravy, Alfredo sauce. I would like that a lot. And there's an ice cream base, hollandaise sauce, and hot chocolate, which I've done the hot chocolate and then I think we made it frozen hot chocolate. Um, there's a recipe for nacho cheese sauce. And then jam setting. You got blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, grape, applesauce, and orange marmalade. And then there's just a custom blend setting. I'm gonna give you some things that you can make. Um, there's some ice cream shakes, milkshakes, frozen drinks. So you can really do anything with this. Um, I'm gonna go back to the soup, not that one. Broccoli cheddar soup. So you need two and a half cups of low sodium vegetable broth. So I have that here in my silicone cup bowl. Um, you need salt, six cups. I have a little bit more than six cups. I have eight of broccoli florets. Um, half of a medium onion I chopped up in here, and then you'll need two garlic cloves. And then later on, you'll add in baby spinach and four ounces of cheddar. This is eight ounces, so I'll only need half of that. Um, so really, all you do is you'll take the top off. I plugged it in and turned it on already. Um, you'll add the ingredients, it says in the order listed. So you'll start with the soup or the broth. You 
could also just pour your broth right in there and not pre-measure it because it does have measuring on here. You'll hear that nice noise and you'll know that it's good to go. And then let's see. Let's see. So I locked it. And then you just turn this guy. We're going to go to the soup setting. And then you're just going to simply hit start. And it will start to blend and puree and all that kind of stuff. Once it gets some of this down, I can go ahead and add some more of the broccoli and then it will all fit. Um, so then when the, this will go um, to heat up and then in about a half an hour it'll be ready and then I'll add the add-ins, which is the baby spinach and the cheddar cheese. So I will pop back in when that's ready so that you can see what happens. Typically when you want to add the add-ons, you can just unscrew this cap and you can plop some stuff right in there. So I can add a little bit of the broccoli since it's going down. This extra broccoli I'll just put in there. Okay,
wait to put the rest of that in, I'll show you my favorite thing about these silicone cup holes. This is what I can put the soup in when it's done. And they have these lids. So if I have extra and I'm not gonna eat it, I could actually put this right in the freezer. And then when I'm ready for it, I'll defrost it and I can just pour it out and eat it. Um, there's three sides. This is the three cup. I have the one cup. And then there's also the broccoli cheddar soup is ready. So now we need to add our cheddar. Four ounces of cheddar. We have that right here. Cheddar and we need a cup of spinach. 